seven oh, left. No. Oh boy, here we go. Sell the team, they're saying. The unknown comic. Your franchise player literally holding back tears on the court while the home crowd is booing and chanting sell the team might just be the saddest thing for a sports fan. And we were all rooting for them. This was their chance. The Jazz, who by the way are near the bottom of the league as it is, had 8 injured players, which included their 3 best guys in Markkanen, Clarkson and THT. This was the perfect opportunity and if you see the schedule for Detroit, you ask yourself, are they going to ever win a game? Look, I feel like the only opportunity for them is to get this one at home against Brooklyn which is a tough task in itself because they are pretty much a 500 team at the moment. And despite having their struggles, Toronto is a much better team than Detroit, so this is going to be tough as well. Houston is above 500 in the West, beating Denver three times this season. And if they couldn't beat this Utah roster at home, they sure won't beat them on the road with the top guys playing. Things are looking frightening for the Pistons. With 25 losses in a row, they've come just one step away from one of the most infamous achievements that you can have as a team. Let me explain. The season when LeBron first left the Cavs, this lineup of Booby Gibson, Antoine Jameson, Ramon Sessions, Anthony Parker and JJ Hickson set the record for most losses in a row with 26. Yeah, Detroit is on the verge of dethroning the 2010-2011 Cavs. Cleveland were so bad that they snapped a 10 game losing streak in overtime right before starting fresh with 26 straight losses. So they could have been undisputed in this category. Still, despite that epic 1 and 36 stretch for them, the Cavs finished the season with 19 wins, far from the worst of all time. The Pistons are actually in contention for that as well, since at the moment they're on pace to win just 6 games. This roster will definitely be mentioned along with the legendary 2012 Bobcats led by Kemba Walker that won just 7 games in the lockout season. And of course, this Sixers team that trusted the process and ended the year with a 10 and 72 record. Now, at least Philadelphia was awarded with the number one pick. For Detroit, things could get even worse because the new lottery rules give equal odds to each of the bottom three teams. So just imagine becoming the worst team in NBA history and not even getting the number one pick. The ridicule will escalate to a whole new level. Similar thing happened to Charlotte as well, who ended with the second pick that year, missing out on Anthony Davis and drafting Michael Kidd Gilchrist, the guy who will be remembered mostly for his god awful looking jumper. But let me show you just how bad things really are for the Pistons. At the beginning of the season, Wingstop, who are one of their sponsors, had a promo of free chicken wings when Detroit wins. And they had their logo underneath the result on the Pistons official Twitter posts. So not only have they not been able to run the promo in like 2 months, but they kept moving the logo further away from the result with every single loss in this streak. The company that literally paid money to be on this poster is now trying to get away. This is insane. That's why the back to back against Brooklyn will be a playoff atmosphere and a must watch. The Pistons wouldn't want to set an infamous record and the Nets wouldn't want to be the ones breaking a historically bad streak. A lot is on the line and the level of competition will be crazy. So tune in for that. But if you want a more positive story, the Bulls led by Kobe White have been on fire lately. He's hooping out of his mind and you gotta check out this video right here. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.